They are going through it with me. <laughs> they don't like me. Oh. He's like, oh, babe, but he has a million points. Oh, yeah, yeah, tough piece of move. No, I'm, I'm heads. I just hit a quad head. Oh, uh -huh. This is the Chimera Assault Rifle in Modern Warfare 2. If we're being honest, it is just the cooler older brother of the Bass P submachine gun and the M13 Assault Rifle. At its core, I think the Chimera is an aggressive style hybrid weapon, so I've made a Frankenstein SMG AR mashup weapon. I will show you what I mean by that in a second with the class setup as always, but before I do that, it would mean a lot to me if you would consider leaving a like and subscribing on the video down below, because I post a lot to this channel. But let's look at the class. Starting with my secondary, as per usual, recently I have the ignition variant of the Basilisk pistol that has the Basilisk grip laser, the Bryson snubby barrel, the Bryson HDA trigger action. Tactical is a stun grenade, lethal is a Semtex perk package 1, double time battle hardened fast hands, quick fix, field upgrades, dead silence munitions box. So finally on to the Chimero. We're going to be starting off with the one attachment I have on that has no tuning and the one attachment that I would also maybe consider changing if you want to. We will talk about that attachment at the end after I go through all the other attachments because uh, the other attachments are pretty much set in stone because there's no real point to changing them. The other attachment slots don't really do much for the gun performance wise if you change them because the Chimera is pretty good by default if we're being honest. We're just trying to speed the gun up. So we have the 45 round mag. You guys know this by now. Mo bullets, mo beta. By default the gun is 30. Uh, you guys are going to be mind blowing. 45 is more than 30. Going to the rear grip we have the Bruin flash grip. This is is the sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed grip. Like I said, we're just gonna make the gun faster because I think that is the best way to make the gun better. We have the Bruin GR500 grip, which is the flinch resistance grip. Flinch resistance is nice, but like, look at the green bar comparatively. Look at how much handling we're getting compared to how much green we're getting here. And then the D37 grip is just the recoil control grip. I'm gonna let you guys in on the biggest secret, and I'm using that term sarcastically in Call of Duty. If you want to control recoil, with the Chimera, just pull down when you shoot. And then for the tunings, we have it doubled down for aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. For the stock, we have the Ravage 8 stock. Like I've said many times now, this is just the way we're speeding up the gun. This is the crouch movement speed, the sprint speed, and the aim down sight speed stock. The con is recoil control, but like I said, if you want the secret to recoil control in Call of Duty, pull down. Make sure that pull down game is strong, boys. And then I have it maxed out for aim down sight speed and aim walking speed. That would be your strafe speed. Strafing is when you're going back and forth, your left and right speed whenever you were aimed down sight. Coming up to the barrel, we have the six and a half inch EXF OP40 barrel. This is the aim down sight speed, movement speed, and hip recoil control barrel. I do have the barrel tuned for recoil steadiness and damage range though. And then finally for the muzzle, I have the Polar Fire S suppressor, which the stats aren't showing up, which is kind of annoying, but sound suppression, damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil coil smoothness I think are the pros and some of you might be thinking Tuck the default barrel has an integrated suppressor why are you doing this um just because the added statistics are just better than the default suppressor and default barrel and then I have the uh, suppressor tuned for aim down sight speed and bullet velocity these are the five attachments that I'm using in the gameplay I'm going to show you real quick if you want the one suggestion I would make uh, I would take off the 45 round mag and use the uh, VLK LZR 7 MW laser. This is going to give you more aim down sight speed, aiming stability, and sprint to fire speed. That'll make the gunplay more like an SMG. But as far as the other attachments go, I don't see a world where I would change any of these attachments. This gun just kind of screams hybrid AR SMG style weapon. If you guys try out the class setup, as always, come back to the video and leave a comment down below if it's good, bad, or if you just enjoy it. If you guys like the video, like the class setup, or just want to show support to the channel the easiest way to do that is just to leave a like and subscribe down below i post daily to the channel the gameplay in today's video is actually a headquarters on breenberg hotel we don't have a lot of headquarters it's probably my first time ever playing it actually hope you guys have a great day after the video ends i'll talk to you guys in tomorrow's video as always boys and girls a pizza i can show you how good the weapon is at getting kills and then... oh, i just shot him off and i'm so sorry i'm such a fucking idiot.
Oh, it's I swear to God, my my kryptonite is just people that use the CDO meta weapons. I'm so f screwed whenever ranked play comes out because I literally can't beat people that use the meta guns. Have my number, man. They won't stop calling. Must be nice. I'm trying to be like you, my boy. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, I'm out of ammo. What? He's going up the back steps. Whoever's still up, if we're all dead. No, it's just you. Oh no! Near I god, walk dude, this lonely it. road, the only one that I have ever known. Oh, he's right here. Right? Where'd he go? Bro, he's running from me. He's freaking scared. There he is, of course. It's a fucking course, dude. I have the better gun, I hit the first shot, I didn't miss, it doesn't matter. There's another one. Another one. Damn, that guy hits hard. It's like my dad. Damn, bro, you didn't have to bring that up, now I'm sad. It's okay, I'm not. I made the joke. Aha, it's a, it's a funny. No. Why are you looking here, Legion Farm Gen? Like, it's okay, man. Rotate, you dumb asshole. Yeah, that doesn't seem like dumb asshole. I've seen some assholes in my life, too. Some are pink, some are brown. Yeah, the brown one's gotta go. <laughs> I, don't, I don't fucking care about what porn you watch, bro. I'm not trying to be like you. Come on. Since I got recommended, or get recommended, like, an insane amount of Family Guy that I don't really care about on TikTok nowadays, I never realized how many, like, subtle jabs they take at the Cleveland show on Family Guy. Do they really? Yeah, like, an insane amount of jabs. Like, they make fun of the Cleveland show so much on Family Guy, and I just never know because I don't watch Family Guy. But I don't really have a choice whenever it's all my For You pages anymore. Yeah, for you page is just some random video on the bottom or on the right, and then Family Guy. Some shitty mobile game I never plan on buying. <laughs> oh man, the mobile game ads are always really had the weirdest shit. My mom told me she'd give me five hundred dollars if I could beat her in this game. <laughs> <laughs> I like the one where uh, the girl she leaves her boyfriend because the guy in the store has more points on the little tank game than him, and I was like, dude, that's fucked up, like. Damn, help. He's like, oh, babe, but he has a million points. You whore. Oh, yeah, yeah, tuck piece him up. <laughs> oh, oh, TikTok's gonna hate me for this one. Uh, dude, for, you, for, your, uh, for your TikTok on that one, you should definitely uh, put some family guy on there. <laughs> oh, good read. <laughs> oh, Peter. Oh. Oh, Lois. He's playing that game again. Stewie <laughs> <laughs> Ramley? What the deuce? Hey, hey, Brian. Hey, Brian. I bet he doesn't have over a 2.0 KD. Dude, stop it! Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> You guys took the point while I was reloading. Oh god, why are you pre-firing that corner, dude? Why? It's fine, we're gaming. We're gamers game. Gamers are gaming gamers. These guys might suck, but they're the most woke suck gamers I've ever played against. They know every angle to pre-game whenever I'm coming. Oh, you're coming? Dude, I never stop coming. I'm the biggest Smash Mouth fan I've ever met. <laughs> Hey now, you're a cum mouth. That's the song, I think, right? Yeah, it's just how it goes. Something like that, something like that. <laughs> I've never- I haven't heard the song since 2001 or some shit, but that's how I think it went. Come on, get your come on, get gay. Hey now, you're a cum- Oh, I got a knife. Yeah, yeah my favorite- is <laughs> That's how the song goes? My favorite A and B video of it is when it- when it says that won't stop coming and it shows the clip of me and Khalifa with Spider-Man in it. Oh, wow. Damn, Toby <laughs> got he, Toby got. I don't think Mia Khalifa is attractive in the slightest, but damn, Toby got Mia. Yeah, dude. 
Uh, I don't remember that. Fuck. I don't. Well, I mean, was that like the was that like the villain arc part? Whenever he was like Black Spider Man. Damn, that's 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 what logic wrote the song about. It all makes sense now. Shit. God, I wish I was there. I wish I was there, coach. I don't think we can adequately this point. This, is, this isn't Black Ops 2 champs. Yeah, but it is headquarters and this game mode is fucking stupid. Thank you. On your Oh, what sucks this because this is out. This is outside. They win because this mortar strike lasts longer than the game clock. Oh fuck! I have more ping than kills. There's so much cum. Like Zoink Scoob, there's so much cum.